Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today I want to give you guys 5 helpful tips for Rainbow Six Siege. Today's video is going to focus on Ash. Ash is a fast speed, low armor attacker that can remotely breach walls and barricades. She has access to one of the best assault rifles in the game and is an excellent medium range operator. So let's take a look at a few helpful tips that will allow you to make the most of her. Number 1. Remote Breach Doors Ash's special ability allows her to pull out a grenade launcher and fire breaching charges at walls from a distance. She only gets two of these remote devices so it's important to use them as effectively as possible. Instead of walking up to a main objective door and getting shot at trying to place a breaching charge, fire your remote breaching charge from a distance and be ready to attack enemies inside. Number 2. Assist Glass. Glass can destroy walls and doors just fine on his own, but having an Ash nearby to assist is always beneficial. Enemies will hide if they hear Glass shooting out a window, but if Ash destroys the window, the enemies might not expect Glass to be watching, giving him an easy kill. It's also helpful to keep Ash nearby in case Glass is stuck on the outside of a castle wall. Number 3, Ash vs Defender Devices. Ash is incredibly useful for breaching castle walls. Instead of walking up and planting a basic breaching charge or risking using a sledgehammer to break it open, Ash can safely destroy castle walls from a distance, even if there's a mute jammer on the other side. The mute jammers cannot stop Ash's charge from detonating, giving Ash a massive advantage, but Jaeger's trophy system can destroy the Ash charge in midair. And if you spot an enemy hiding behind a deployable shield, go ahead and fire your breaching charge at the shield. It'll usually catch them by surprise when their shield disappears in front of them, and it actually will deal a bit of damage, giving you an opportunity to finish them off as they try and run. Number 4, Attack Ceilings and Floors. With two remote breaching charges and three basic breaching charges, Ash is an excellent attacker when trying to attack through floors and ceilings. If the objective is in a room with wooden ceilings, go ahead and secure the upstairs room and begin blowing holes in the floor. Remote breaching charges at the same time as your basic breaching charges make it more difficult for the enemy to pinpoint your position. Peek into popular corners of the objective room and try to kill as many defenders as possible to assist your team. <laughs> if you suspect an enemy is directly above you, go ahead and fire breaching charges at the ceiling. If it's destructible, it'll deal a significant amount of damage to the enemy, while also giving you a good view upwards into their hiding spot. You can even remotely destroy hatches in the ceiling, which will help your teammates throw grenades into the room or even drop enemies down below if you're lucky enough. And number 5, Make Diversions. Ash's ability to blow up multiple points at the same time makes her excellent at creating diversions. When attacking a room, set up basic breaching charges on one wall and fire your remote breaching charge at another. The enemy likely won't know which entry point to defend, giving you a huge advantage when you're attacking. Now I hope this video was helpful and I plan on making more videos like this one. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you'd like to see, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Rainbow Six tips and tricks.